hello children here we are using again factorization by using we are we are starting here factorization by using identity so already you, you know three identities are there a plus b whole square that is a square plus 2 a b plus b square we know a minus b whole square that is a square minus 2 a b plus b square and we have a square minus b square is a plus b and a minus b now till now we have done four methods one is hcf method common factor then we are grouping the terms third is you splitting the middle term and fourth one is identities so just see that here if you see the term let me change the pin if i cannot take common factor any common factor is not here again i can't regroup it two, there are three terms i re can't regroup it using so i can't apply grouping the terms splitting the middle term you see 49 we can't break such that 14 will come so this method also you can't apply grouping also so what is that by using identity so just check how many terms are there one two three so three terms are either in this identity or this but here all sign are plus so we just verify whether it is a plus b whole square is now there 7 square we can write 49 as 7 whole square now we just check it is twice a b or not 2 into x into 7 so what is that 2 14 x here also my question is in question it is 14 x i am not changing the question i am just verifying that if you i am trying to change in the form of identity i am getting or not so i am getting what a square plus twice ab plus b square what is that it is x plus 7 whole square now again as i have to factorize from quadratic polynomial to so i will write in the form of linear because here also degree 2 and here also degree 2 so i am breaking it so i will write like a linear polynomial so your answer will be x plus 7 x plus 7 same way just you check the first and the last number 49 is 7 square a so i am writing here don't write 7 a square it will be wrong we are doing each term square like 7 square a square now 36 is 6 b whole square 6 square 36 b square plus 2 into a into b check 2 7 ja 14 14 6 ja 84 a b so again it is a plus b whole square so i will write like this whole square or i can write i will write here as I am multiplying twice same way here I change it in the form of standard form square first you can do this way also so 9x square is 3x whole square plus 1 square now I verify minus 2 into 3x into 1 6x is coming so it is what a square minus 2ab plus b square that is a minus b whole square so it is 3x minus 1 3x minus 1 so you have to think that how you will break it and middle term how you are getting here i have done this one which is perfect square now i verify whether when i multiply these two terms I am getting twice a b or not so 2 3 ja 6 a b c i am getting minus 6 a b c so it is a b plus 3 sorry it is a b minus 3 c 
whole square because here minus term is there. So I can write here AB minus 3C and AB minus 3C. That will be answer.